Hello children I hope you are doing well Today we are summarizing this chapter of EVS titled A Snake Charmer Story In this chapter we will be discussing in detail about the lifestyle of a snake charmer and the problems faced by him Let us begin the story by meeting Aryanath Aryanath says he can do something which none of us can do he can make the snakes dance by playing the tunes of his being and he has learned this art of making the snakes dance on the tunes of his being through his family members he says that his family members are known as kalbelias let's meet arena's grandfather roshanaji arena says that his grandfather was very popular in his community and he used to catch various poisonous snakes without any difficulty his grandfather has told arenath many stories of his past and his grandfather remembers that even his grandfather was also a snake charmer so arenath and roshanath ji are a family of snake charmers which are often called as saperas in hindi arenath's grandfather told him that they used to move from village to village carrying bamboo baskets on their heads and different types of snakes were there in their bamboo baskets kids elders all used to stand around them whenever they used to stop in a village and then they used to show them the dance of the snakes on the tunes of the beans yes grandfather tells that even after the show of snake dance was over the crowd remained standing this is because they know that the tin box which they bring with them carry a lot of useful medicines which could prevent anyone from snake bite or from the poisonous that the snake bite spread these medicines were made by using lots of plants collected from forest and require a lot of hard work even arenath knows which medicines are used uh, in in case of snake bites dada ji tells that he has gone to far off places for people who need medicines and in return of these medicines people will give them money or food grains and thus they are able to earn their livelihood through them so the family of snake charmers or saperas are totally dependent on snakes for their livelihood Dada ji remembers that they have saved many previous lives with these medicines. Many times they have been called to places where people had been bitten by snakes. They used to uh, they used to carefully observe the pattern of the snake bite and they used to identify which category of snake or which type of snake has bitten them and they used to offer the medicine or the anti venom accordingly. and which really used to make them recover soon many times some farmers used to rush to them or used to call them as they were frightened by the snakes in their farms and the snake charmers save the family of the snake charmers of arenath and roshanath ji save those frightened farmers and catch those snakes that emerge in their farms and in return they would get the money through which they can earn their livelihood grandfather was wondering how good were the old days when they used to entertain people when he grew older his father taught him even how to remove the poisonous teeth here in this figure the poisonous teeth of the snake are called the fangs so uh grandfather remembers that not all the snakes are poisonous but snakes the poison of the snakes can be removed by removing these teeth or the fangs 
also grandfather knows how to close the tube of poison in a snake's mouth here in this image you can see a tube of poison in front of a snake's mouth in this video we have learned about arenath who was arenath a snake charmer who was roshan ji roshanath ji father of our grandfather of arenath and arenath and roshanath ji were a family of saperas or kalbelias we have learned how they learned the art of playing the bean through generation to generation arenath has learned the art of playing beans through his father or grandfather his grandfather has learned the art of playing the bean through his grandfather or father so through this way they have learned the art of making the snakes dance on the beans how the snake charmers earn their living the snake charmers earn their living by providing medicines or by rushing to those spots where the require the people require medicines and got bitten by the snakes and what they do they do to save save life of farmers they used to rush to the farms and catch the snakes who used to uh, come in the farms so children in the next video we will learn about the struggles which they are facing nowadays and i hope you all have understood the chapter till now well next half of the chapter we will be covered in next video till then you can go to edrev and can solve the worksheets and can attempt the tests to understand the chapter in depth thank you